This is the world famous Grand Central Station. I believe at one time they actually had this place shut down. I used to come down here to go to work. Both my father and I used to take the Grand Central's terminal, come down here to the Grand Central Terminal, right inside there. Beautiful place inside there, but I believe they closed in a lot of the restaurants and a lot of the um, boutiques that were here. You know, this place was, oh man, New York City was amazing. New York City was amazing, you guys. You have no idea. I mean, to someone who was coming from maybe like Iowa or Idaho, the amount of people you're seeing in this video right now is probably a lot. But I'm a New Yorker. This is Grand Central. That's the Grand Hyatt Hotel. The Hyatt Hotel right there, you guys. This. Where how fast we're going? We're going. The speed limit here is around 15, 20 miles an hour. We're doing 15, 20 miles an hour. New York City, you could never do 15 to 20 miles an hour. I mean, this is amazing, man. There is nobody here. This is amazing. The tourists are not here. There is nobody here. And this is a weekend. People from New Jersey, Connecticut, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, they would come down for the day, have some fun, either get back on the train or drive back up there for four or five hours. You always had tourists in New York City, especially in this area. 42nd Street, Madison Avenue, 5th Avenue. Wow. Just wow.
these are merchant wholesale distributors that are all closed, out of business completely. The entire block gone dead in the water. This is uh, Fashion Avenue 7th Avenue. Fashion Avenue 7th Avenue. Now down these, a lot of these little side streets, you would find the street vendors distribution, distributors. So if you were selling on the street, bags, umbrellas, um, oil, scarves, you would find all of that here. And all of these places are completely closed, out of business, gates down, signs up, out of business, there's nothing left. So you don't even see the tourism trade that used to support the street vendors is gone. The street vendors are gone. The whole of distributors are gone. So that branch of economy in New York City is gone. And and many people are saying that's, that that particular sector is going to be gone forever. So age of the street vendor is gone. And I was hoping that I could have shown you guys some more of this, but I saw at least eight or nine in one block, eight or nine major businesses, including cell phone stores, jewelers, souvenir shops, juice bars, restaurants, all in one block. We were coming here, all of them out of business. You know, that's New York City right now. You know, in one block, you can find maybe four or five vacant buildings that used to house very successful, very reputable, high turnover uh, businesses. These things were there. And a lot of these places didn't close until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. In New York City, we didn't shut down ever. So a lot of the places here, they just kept on going. They kept on living. They kept on. They had two and three, they had second and third shifts here. Now these places don't even have one because people don't have the income to come to the store. Therefore, the store has no income to pay their rent. That's part of living in New York City right now. The juggle between those that are struggling to survive and those that have just said, I got nothing left. I've been through my savings. Time for me to move on and pray for something else. But we're heading right now to Times Square. I want to show you guys Times Square and the hotel that my brother stayed at around two or three years ago. Times Square is going to be the def is going to definitely be the place to get a feel of the pulse of if New York City is going to ever come back again. So we're heading there right now and we'll see you guys there. This is a form. This is the St. James Theater, you guys. St. James Theater. Completely vacant, completely evacuated, gone, dead in the water. This is another theater, you guys. Vacant, dead in the water. Here's another one. Jagged Little Pill, vacant, dead in the water. Take Me Out, vacant, not here. This entire street is a combination of um, Broadway and off-Broadway shows here. I think you go off-Broadway shows here. Every single one of these places is out of that there's no Broadway left in New York City until April of 2021. Let me say that again, you guys. Broadway in New York City is dead and gone until April 2021. No more actors, no more musicals, no more singers, no more dancers, no more ushers, no more concierge, no more cleaners, no more nothing, no more playbills. New York City effectively close Broadway and every single theater, Broadway, off-Broadway, off-off-Broadway, off-off-off-Broadway, all of them are gone until April 2021. Now, I was a Broadway lover. The first um, place I went to, the first, the very first Broadway show I went to was when I was 16 years old and went to go see Riverdance. That was my show. I loved that show. And that was my first time I ever went on Broadway. The last time I went on Broadway, I saw the Lion King show. And that is an experience in and of itself. So guys, let me tell you something. We also saw Cats. Cats, we saw them, I think there's last, the la next to the last year that they were um, operating here in New York before they retired that show. This is 
This is it, you guys. This is the Times Square area you can see from here. This is where they dropped the ball. Well, they used to drop the ball anyway. Right there, you see where it said Johnny Orlando? That's where they used to drop the ball. Right there, to come down, and that's where they used to drop the ball. And as you can see, there is nobody out here. Nobody out here. The vendor, hot dogs, they would be big beyond comprehension. Guy right here, hats, they'd be big beyond comprehension. These are more, I believe these are a couple of more, uh, this is, um, no, these are probably some of the restaurants that are here. Uh, oh yeah, that one's closed. Vigils is closed. They're shut down. You have the Hudson Theater. They're closed down as well. You know. The entertainment industry of New York City was theater. And theater's gone. So, I remember reading, I think they said some 20 or 25,000 people worked in the New York City theater industry. And when they shut that down, that's 25, 20, 25,000 people lost their jobs in that one moment. You know, these are not just the actors and the dancers and the performers on stage. They were those who would clean up. You know, they were the assistants to the costume designer's assistant. You know, there was a, this, there was a huge population that was employed by the theater industry. And the theater industry was mainly funded by the tourism industry. So, yeah, New York City, you know, this New York City, we're on that cuff between surviving and not coming back. We're struggling. We're at that point right now. If I was gonna tell you, if New York City had 100% occupancy, Right now, New York City would be at around 40% occupancy right now. Compared to what New York City really is, we're at 40% occupancy. And if anybody knows have money from the business, you'll know that even a hotel has to have a 70% occupancy to maintain uh, a profit. So New York City is not operating at a profit in that regard. That is the famous Radio City Music Hall. They've closed that as well. So there will not be any Radio City Christmas Christmas Spectacular this year. That will not be coming back. The Rockettes are gone until further notice. You know, this is all, these are all high-end stop shops right here, by the way. That is the Brooks Brothers. You know, they used to have people just filling out. This whole area right here used to have like um, cabs all lined up because people would be coming in, dropping off, and then jumping right into these cabs right here. So th there's, you know, there's nothing here. This is Major League Baseball. The Major League Baseball store, you guys. Nobody is in that store. Store is open. Occupancy is probably down to like maybe like 10%, but nobody's even in there. That place used to be jumping. You know, like I said before, in New York City right now, if I had to say, well, we're at a 40% occupancy right now. We've already lost over 100,000 families who have left New York City, and that's no lie, you guys. 100,000 families, not people, 100,000 families have left New York City. There are over 40,000 vacant apartment apartments in New York City right now. So, this is real. 61% of restaurants in New York City have gone out of business. This is real. You know, New York City needs help. And the best way to give New York City help is to let the economy go back to the way things were before too many people got involved. I remember this place. I used to come down here. My father, my mother, my grandmother. There were days when we just drive near, drive throughout New York City because it was just so fun to go through. All the lights, all the people, the madness of it all. This is sad madness. <laughs> this is sad because there is just so much lacking right now. I've never seen New York City this empty on a weekend. New York City is the financial pulse of the 
USA right now. And that post is kind of weak. So all I can say in all honesty and hope is that I hope by January 2021 there will be a change. We're moving into the winter time right now, so the is gonna even naturally is gonna slow down even more. But all you can do is hope that come 2021, Jan J January 2021, there will be a breath, a new breath in this city. Because right now we're dying. I might not live in New York City anymore, but I still consider myself to be a New York City person. I'm a New Yorker, born and bred. But New York, we need help. We definitely, definitely need help. And before, you know, New York City closes, you know, that last business, you know, I hope the government will see what they've been doing to us is wrong. That letting us go back to being New York strong, going back out to our job, going back out to our lives is what we need to do. You know, I don't live in New York City. I live up in Middletown now, Monroe. And let me tell you something, I lost my job up there too. My mother worked in the schools up there. She lost her job up there too. The entire state is dying right now. And all I can say is Cuomo, de Blasio, all the people who made this epidemic what it is, everybody who has lost their apartment, who has lost their job, who has lost their income, who has been put out, who cannot buy food anymore, that's all because of what you people did. And all those people want is for you, the government, who put us in this predicament, to take responsibility for what you did. We did not do this. We did not ask for this. We did not engage in this. We did not want this. When we were given this, we pushed through. We didn't stop. We kept on going. We kept providing for our families, we kept working, we didn't stop, but you all made us stop, so until you guys allow us to return to normal, we need you guys to do what you're supposed to do, we need the stimulus to be passed, we need the government to care as much about us as we Americans have cared about the government. There are 330 plus million Americans in the United States right now. Over 150 million working Americans have lost their jobs since March of 2020. Read and do the research yourself. And you will see I'm right. Over 150 million Americans lost their jobs. That is uncalled for. So to the U.S. government, all the politicians in Congress, all the politicians in the Senate, all the mayors, all of the governors, you all owe 150 million plus people an apology. You owe us money and you owe us your respect. So this is New York City right now, you guys. And I am one New Yorker who's going to sign out for the evening. And I hope the next time I show you guys New York, these streets will be full. People will be smiling. These masks will be gone. And life, as we know it, will be back to normal. Not new normal. That's an oxymoron. But life will be back to normal. New York City. Out.